We're gonna take this baby for a test drive with the new lithium battery. Let's see how it does up the hill here. Look at that pickup, ooh. Oh, it's a lot faster, guys. And first I recommend taking a picture of it. So I took out all six eight volt batteries. And you got your charger block here. So next I'm gonna do is take this cover reducer. It's automatic finds the battery for you and this is all displays. Recently my golf cart battery just went dead here. So I'm gonna show you how to convert a regular 12 volt, six 12 volt batteries into a lithium light bulb battery. Um, I have the set sitting over there. That battery's sitting right over there, you guys can see. And first I recommend taking a picture of it. So just in case you do have problems, you can go back to with the wiring, which I already did. So I'm gonna go ahead and start taking it apart. Now, um, these batteries, you can recycle them at AutoZone or um, like the local Walmart, wherever, but AutoZone, they will give you a $10 credit per battery so you can use that on something else. Uh, I believe it's Walmart and they don't give you a credit. So cause just call around and find out uh, where they, you know, some places give you credit, some don't. So um, I'm using a 14 millimeter here to loosen these battery up. Now, first I'm gonna do is, I'm gonna loosen up these connectors here, guys. These, uh, these wanna link both the batteries together. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And then slowly take each battery out. Now, before ordering your battery, I recommend getting measurements which I already did with mine, my lip, Lipo will have no issues fitting in here. Uh, lit, lithium Lipo battery. So, I wouldn't have any issues. So here you can see, I got this one pretty much out. So I'm gonna go ahead and do all this here, guys. But yeah, the lithium is, um, it's, it's about 100 pounds lighter than this total of this six pack. So you're, you're gonna get a little better torque and also going up here a little better because it's a lot lighter and easier on the tires and wheels too. So it's a, it's a big upgrade and it's not that hard. They made it a lot easier before, it, before uh, probably five, 10 years ago. Yeah, it was difficult to do, to convert to lithium. But now you can buy all these converters and everything and uh, it's pretty pretty simple. Um, you do need a DC, uh, 12 volt to DC converter, which I did um, purchase, and I will show you guys how to install that too. So the, the, that you use for like um, for hooking up your lights and etc. Anything else you have that's regular. So I took out all six eight volt batteries and clean inside the battery housing real quick. Just kind of wipe it down wherever, vacuum it out. Now next you want to locate your uh, main power, the, the negative, the negative and the positive. So make sure when you lay the battery in there that it's got enough wire to kind of uh, be able to connect with the battery. So I'm gonna go ahead and lay the battery, lipto battery, this direction with the, the positive ne negative over here so I can be able to slide it back and forth. Perfect. So we got it set in place, guys. The buyer does fit, does sit underneath the seat. Covers, the seat cover closes fine. Now I do need, uh, later on, I'm gonna add a one, a two by one eighth inch board so I can lock this in place, bolt down in place. But as for now, I'm just gonna install it as is to make sure everything works. Next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna start the positive and negative from the motor, also from the charger. This brand lit, lithium um, model, 50, uh, 51.2 volt, it did come with screws. 
So what we're going to do is we're just going to do the negative. Put this one here. So you want to get the charging wire, and this is your motor wire. And I'm going to scoot this down a little bit, guys. That's the reason why I didn't want to bolt it down yet. I want to make sure everything fits. Okay, and we're gonna do the positive here, same thing. And now oh, where's the positive? No, oh, barely fit. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna need to cut it a little bit. This one has a, I'm gonna need to move this down a little bit. There it goes. And that's the reason why you have to bolt down. You can see that it slides and moves real easy. But again, we're just going to try to see if this works. And then I'm going to bolt down eventually when everything's done. You can also use a strap, you know. You don't have to bolt down. You can get a strap, which I might end up using too. Might be easier than bolting it down. And you got your charger block here. So I just tried it. It works fine guys. I turn it on. It works. Let's move forward back. So I'm gonna go ahead and hook up the headlamps here the headlights this is yet Yamaha golf course just make sure before you do it that your LED lights your headlights can handle the 48 volts or in this case this is 51.2 volts my LED lights on this golf cart can't handle it so I'm gonna go ahead and hook it up these are the wires I'm gonna hook it up and they came with fuses so it does if it does blow at least it's protected so make sure you do your research and make sure your headlights can handle it. not you're gonna need a converter to convert it down lower voltage so that you're able to hook it up so I'm gonna go ahead and do that next guys and again it's pretty simple you got positive go with positive negative go with negative So next I'm gonna do is take this converter reducer and hook it up to the battery so I can hook up my LED ground effects lights. The LED ground effects light is only 12 to 24 volts. So if I hook it straight up to the batteries, which is 52 volt, it's probably gonna damage it, blow out the LED lights. And this is real easy to do guys. Again, you just hook up the positive with positive, negative with negative. And as you can see, it came with a fuse to help protect it. And this is gonna go straight into this now it, you can buy a like a tab distri distributor where you can hook up multiple stuff if let's say you have other lights or you have speakers or whatever that only require 12 volt 24 volts you buy this distributor where you can actually hook up more than one source of power um, I have all this item listed at the bottom for you guys to make it real simple easy so you can just order it again it'll be all listed down at the bottom Nice thing about this reducer is it came with these tabs here, guys, so you can connect your wires. They're really convenient. Just pop it in, flip it up, pop it down, and, and um, it connects. So I decided not to bolt this down to the golf cart. I'm just gonna use strap, tie it down. These guys are actually pretty good solids, steel bars here on the side. I'm just gonna strap it down to that and use two strap. 
So I just want to go over a couple of things here real quick here. As you can see, I strapped it down. Um, I strapped it down with two straps here. I didn't end up anchoring it or um, bolting it down to the housing because as you can see here, I have a groove here and I had to put two by four and plus I didn't want to damage the house and this I thought would be the easiest and also the most uh, nice looking. As you can see here, I have two bars on left and right. So just make sure when you do anchor, tighten it up, just um, make sure you have bars that can hold it in place. As for the, the charger, you can see it sits right there. Again, I did not anchor that. It's pretty heavy and it's just farther away. It's away from the the battery, so I'm not gonna. I don't have to worry about. It. But it's super clean, easy. Um, um, one another thing I want to mention. I did not install the meter because uh, the meter and um, the piece here that goes with it. You plug the USB into it, and this actually is pretty easy too. You just just plug the the positive, and then you got a neutral wire pretty much. So I'm just probably gonna probably do a just resale wherever because on the app here, let me show you. It shows it has this here on Bluetooth. The battery is actually Bluetooth. And all you gotta do is you just gotta open, get the manual, open it, and then you click on the Apple or Android and download the app. And the app is uh, called Bat Bat BMS. You see, as you can see, and once you get in there, it's automatic finds the battery for you, and this is all display. So it's pretty. Pretty simple, you can control a lot of stuff with auto balance. You can um, parameters. So it's pretty neat little app. Again, I didn't see the point of installing it and messing up the golf hole wire and everything, but, but I just decided to do that. And now uh, they do sell extra, um, they do sell battery without it. So I, I thought I was gonna need it, so I purchased a set that came with it but they do sell at least maybe fifty dollars or twenty five dollars cheaper without this here so that's something you guys think about you decide push you need that don't need it and as for the voltage reducer here guys this is plugged into my golf cart LED ground effect lights because this is only 12 to 24 volts so you want to make sure you have this this is very important if you want to plug stuff items or that you needs 12 to 24 volt as for the the headlights actually my headlights are actually plugged into the od headlights i actually plug into this the battery itself because that's you know requires a little bit more voltage so it won't do harm to the the lights but again yeah guys su super simple that's so one show you it's super simple to install easy and i do recommend the probably i just we just took it for a ride and it had no issues no issue is a lot lighter too reducing a lot of weight so it's it's well worth it so we're going to take this baby for a test drive with the new lithium battery of course it feels a lot lighter i can feel the bounciness of the golf cart here we took off about over a little bit over 100 pounds um actually more than that i think like 150 pounds and then you can see here the battery app so again like i mentioned earlier it didn't really need the battery you know the battery meter to be installed so something to think about if you want to save money they do sell a pack of the lipo battery without the multimeter and let me step on this here give it a little speed here torque and this battery is supposed to last about 10 years guys instead of the regular batteries these um it's supposed to be 10 years and the one we have it only lasts us about four years Ooh, look at that pickup Ooh, oh it's a lot faster guys a lot faster than the nike battery here but yeah i just want to take you guys on a quick test drive and see let me see the battery here again but this thing is a beast nice very nice well worth the guys well worth the investment you want to upgrade i recommend going lithium light bulb so let's see how it does up the hill here this is a pretty steep hill we have at the house oh yeah nice love it 